Hi, it's Rob Brayton, and uh, today we're not at the Texas Star Cave. I'm at, uh, instead of a roll-off roof, I'm at my friend's observatory. He has a roll-off observatory, so I'll go ahead and let him explain about that. Very good. Well, this is a Rubbermaid storage shed that we purchased from Home Depot. It was roughly $450. And I sat down and I designed a, a plan how I could have a little roll-off building instead of a roll-off roof. So we took and assembled the storage shed. I laid it on its side and put two befores across the bottom for stability and then mounted two wheels on each side and a wheel in the back. So it has a total of five wheels. Now, since it was up off the ground, I took a saw and cut the floor out. That made the building where it could be moved around. So what you see now is our five inch Takahashi setup. Uh, we're imaging the sun today with the Daystar filter. And we just rolled the building off and there you go. And this is a how simple it is it just rolls right off inside we've put a little shelf so we could have our accessories a little table for the laptop and uh, a nice thing about the roll-off building especially for solar imaging is you can close the doors and you're in a relatively dark area so you can see your computer screen Otherwise, it would be almost impossible to see the screen in the sunlight when you're outside solar imaging. At night, it works uh, extremely well also. Uh, we get everything up and going with the laptop, and we have it connected where we can control everything from the inside of the house. You don't have to worry about running into uh, a slit in a dome. So for approximately $500 total, that includes the building, the two before works and the wheels, you can have a roll-off building observatory that works very well.